Hello, this is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, Philippine since 2002. This is Scarlet, the retro Scarlet from G.I. Joe Classified. Again, another figure that I was not expecting to buy. I resisted because Glenda was going to be coming with the Dragonfly. Well, it should be coming very soon with the Dragonfly. And it's the exact same scarf except for the head. So I didn't want to have the scarf twice. In this case, it's too specific. But I caved in, especially when I saw that Scarlet was becoming sold out in many places or increasing price even on Apple. Amazon. So when I went to my local GameStop, Scarlet was just on the shelves. So I picked her from the pegs and I decided her and Duke were going to be part of my collection. The original Scarlet from 2020, which I reviewed way back at Comic Book Bin in writing, is still part of my collection. I even have a double of the second release of the Scarlet, the one that was modified, which I'm trying to get rid of. It was bought as part of a set of figures and I didn't want it, but I still have it. It's still in its package. If you guys want that Scarlet, it's there somewhere. And then I've got the movie Scarlet somewhere. Also, the movie Scarlet for a while was my stand-in for Scarlet because it is a great scarf. The face scarf is actually better with that Scarlet. There's another review out there on YouTube of this Scarlet. Well, I'm not regretting getting this Scarlet. It is the best Scarlet action figure ever. There's no question about this. So yeah, I've got a Scarlet now. I didn't want to, but I have one. Let's review this further. So Hasbro decided that they were going to be using the retro classified line to correct course correct anything that fans didn't like the first time including the first scarlet action figure which came in the first classified way and samara or i believe her name is who played scarlet in the snake eyes movie for a while the weaving version of scarlet was my stand-in Scarlet because the face is so much better. It is a beautiful action figure. But the problem with this figure is that single jointed. And the uniform didn't look exactly like Scarlet. It was much more different than the classic Scarlet. It really was a movie Scarlet, but the head is the best head for a Scarlet action figure. I would say better even than the current head that we have here. It's not a bad look for Scarlet, but I would say that she doesn't look as beautiful as the actress that actually played her. It's up to you to decide. I prefer Miss Weaving's face to the classified retro Scarlet's face. As for the first Scarlet, well, the problem with that figure was that she looked way too young. She doesn't look like she should be part of this group. She looks like a teenager here. The scalp was beautiful, was nice. This is the original one, not the second one. I like the scalp a lot. It was reused in part for helix not entirely just parts of it were used for helix but i would say that the colors here didn't match too much i mean the scalp is beautiful but if it had more classic scarlet colors like more yellow more gray and so on it would have probably been a more popular action figure than the one we have right now which really echoes the classic Scarlet look here. She wears the leotard and everything just like the old Scarlet, but with added features. The original Scarlet didn't have a backpack. She has a backpack and she's wearing several weapons. She also has a knife, a gun, a small gun here, throwing stars, quiver or arrows, everything, you name it, she has it. The backpack is the same that was used with the Valkyries, the Cobra Valkyries, the female soldiers. It's the exact same backpack, but a different color. So it's a much smaller backpack that's meant to be carried more easily by female action figures. One thing I like about Scarlet is that she's not wearing high heels. A lot of female action figures often wear high heels, which make their stability very problematic. Here she's wearing heels, but they're not high. So they're flat enough for her to be able to stand 
correctly on most type of grounds like this. She comes with two pair, well, one pair of hand, their fist, extra fist. I'm not using them because because she can't store everything on herself. This handgun cannot be stored anywhere on her. So I'm carrying it with her hands. Therefore, I'm not using any of the fists with her. She comes with the M16. And the G.I. Joe laser gun. I don't know what kind of rifle that was, but... A lot of them are coming with this figure right now. Duke also has one. Several arrows in her quiver. You can remove them from the holster and put them directly here. Now, Hasbro didn't score well at first by introducing the first Scarlet. Fans really wanted the classic look. Not all of them, I would say. I was happy with changes, but I will say that I did prefer... I would have preferred something like an updated model, not a, a pure recreation of the original action figure. She also has a second ponytail. If you remove the backpack, you can put this ponytail, which means it's gonna just fall down like that, but you don't need to use it. The red of her hair is much crimsonish than the first or the second Samara weaving or scarlet action figure. I'm not sure how I feel. I think I would have preferred classic red. I guess you could call it orange as opposed to pure crimson here. But that's okay. I was resisting getting this figure. I got it because it was on special. Well, not on special, but it's almost like sold out almost everywhere right now more than Duke, so I figured I would get it anyway, even though the same build is coming with Brenda or Glenda, whatever her name is, that comes with the Dragonfly later this year. I like Scarlet, maybe you'll like her too. I will we'll do one test, I'll see if she looks better with the Tamara weaving head. So I tried to remove the Tamara weaving head and the other scarlet head the problem is that the ball joints are not compatible so you can't use that old head on scarlet unfortunately the peg hole here is too small this peg hole is much larger so you can't reuse the head again hasbro i don't know why they, they keep doing things like that it's not good for customizers it's the gi joe ball joints the ball pegs are not compatible with other lines usually and they're not even compatible with themselves i'm not exactly sure why hasbro does things like that it doesn't try to make things compatible across the line marvel legends tends to be compatible and obviously valiverse have the same scale also which makes them compatible with one another it's very easy to exchange heads overall with marvel legend action figures and valiverse it's not the same with classified they usually are not compatible and i'm not sure why they do it it's not good for customizer if we want to play with that exchange figures and so on we can't it's a bummer i'm not sure why they do that why they do it this way the engineers who take care of these things they should probably i don't know play more ball on this so i can't switch the heads even though i find this head is more beautiful i can't use it on 
to the character. Now the crossbow that Scarlet has is good. I would say that the original crossbow from the classified, the first Scarlet, is not very good. This one tends to fall apart a bit. The best crossbow would be the movie crossbow version. But that's saying a lot. So this is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, filling you in since 2002. Like and subscribe.